Hey people, I'm making a video of the best way to apply a custom voltage curve and afterburner. It'll work on my 1080 Ti Founders Edition. It'll work on the old and new Pascal Titan Xs. And it'll also work on a 1070 or 1080. So the first thing you want to do is unlock your power, unlock your core voltage. And there's a link in the YouTube video on how to actually do that uh, so that you can raise your core voltage to 100%. On Pascal cars, it can be a little bit tricky, but the link's pretty easy to follow. And the best way to do it is uh, download the beta version of Afterburner and in the overclock.net link there's a link to the beta version. Uh, the next thing you want to do is raise your power limit as high as it will go. Uh, in my case it's 120 on the Asus bias. It will also raise your temperature limit as high as, as high as it will go. And then you want to click on the graft and Afterburner so it's in focus and hit control F and as you see the vol voltage frequency curve editor comes up the next thing you want to do is hit Control D and then hit the check mark and apply and it'll apply a default voltage curve. Third thing you want to do is hold the shift key and drag the highest points on the bar uh, that are in a straight line to the right to the core you want. Now I want it at 2025 because my card will uh, run at 2025 at at uh, 993 millivolts without throttling, without jumping up and down. You have a shunt mod, you don't have to worry about power limiting, but I, I can't do a shunt mod. My card's vertical, so I do have to worry about power limiting. And I've hide 225 core at 993 millivolts is the best to go. So I, I raise it up to 231. I hit apply and it'll jump down to 2025 and you want to raise it one point higher that way it's uh, the core it'll stay at 2025 uh, more stable if you raise it one point higher than what you want and hit apply it won't jump up and down the voltages won't change or get higher stuff like that it just makes your uh, when you hit apply it makes it uh, uh, at the core you want a little more stable the last thing you want to do or the third thing you want, the fourth thing you want to do is go down to the lowest voltage you want uh, that, that you know you're stable at, at the highest core you're stable. So I know I'm stable at 993 millivolts. So I don't hold shift or anything. I just go to 993 millivolts. Once again, I raise it to 2031, hit the check mark to apply. And as you can see, I'm in a straight line at 2025 uh, to the right, which is ideal because then when uh, your card is running, it'll stay at 993 millivolts at 2025 core speed, and uh, it'll just stay there, and it'll not jump higher to a higher bin because uh, it's in a straight line from 2025. And the last thing you want to do is... Uh, is um, uh, or even out your curve at the points below 2025 like this so that if you do hit a really demanding benchmarker game and it does power limit a bit um, it only uh, the core speed will only drop a little bit and you won't lose FPS stuff like that in your game or in your benchmark uh, and as you can see, that applies the ideal voltage curve for me. Now, you don't have to stick around for the rest of this. I'm just going to run um, 3D Mark uh, Time Spy in, uh, in windowed mode, just so you can see my core stable at 2025. I want to go to More Tests. I want to go to Details. I want to go to Custom Run, Graphics Test 2, Window Mode. Uh, 1080p so it's a small window and then hit run custom oh I have all three gav graphics has chosen but that's okay I only run the first one I only meant to run two and as you'll see I'll be at 2025 stable without a jumping up and down uh, at, at uh, 993 millivolts 0.993 volts and uh, it'll just stay there and it's better if your core is not jumping up and down and the different bins your FPS will be stable or it'll be more constant and it just gives you a more consistent more constant uh, uh, overclock on your actual card so time spy is starting graphics test one 
We'll let it run a bit, and as you see, I'm at 2025 core, 993 millivolts, 6,147 memory. It's now jumping up and down, a stable 2025, and that is ideally what you want on your afterburner curve. And lastly, uh, you can, uh, for benchmarking and stuff, and start to, to get it, or if you've done the shunt mod, if you want higher voltages, you can put it on as high as it'll go on a Pascal card, which is uh, uh, 1,093 millivolts, 1.093 millivolts, and you can put the highest core you can run at that. For me, it's... Uh, 2088 core and then like I have it gradually going down left from the 2025 you have it gradually going down from 1093 so that when it throttles and if you don't have the shunt mod it will throttle it'll uh, it'll uh, only throttle a few bins lower and uh, not throttle too much and uh, you'll get the highest uh, core you can on the can on um, on, on the highest core you can at 0 0.093 volts. But for 27, 24-7 use, this is ideal. This is how you want to do it. Highest core at the lowest voltage you, you can get. Uh, if you haven't done a shunt mod, and what a shunt mod is, is when you apply liquid metal to a shunt on the top of your card to, uh, to uh, lower electrical resistance so you get more power draw and uh, so you get no power limiting and I can't do a shunt mod just due to the fact my cards vitter vertical it can be an issue uh, and I find this is uh, this is the best compromise I can make so thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video bye